Welcome to the daily insights that matter. In the wake of making quick money, traders have resorted to futures and options trading. A recent study conducted by SEBI, the capital market regulator, showed that 9 out of 10 traders burned their hands while doing so. Let's discuss this. The number of traders has immensely grown to 45.2 lakh in the year 2022 from almost 7 lakh in the fiscal year 2019. This is a significant increase of more than 500%. Trading started getting popular and gained a lot of traction during the COVID lockdown where people thought they could make extra money through a side hustle apart from their regular paying jobs. Although the number of traders has grown only 11% out of the lot made profits in fiscal year 22. The rest 89% made an average net loss of 1.1 lakh in fiscal year 22. Another interesting fact is that the top 5% of active profit makers accounted for nearly 75% of the total net profit earned by active profit traders. With the arrival of discount brokers, mobile apps and social media, traders were attracted into trading to make a quick buck. Apart from the net trading losses, traders also incurred an additional 28% loss due to transaction costs. So why did the traders lose money? Many investors resorted to tips and advisory services online. Second, poor risk management. Another factor was over trading, leading to additional transaction costs like brokerage, STT and clearing fees. Another factor was the lack of discipline and psychology. And lastly, the lack of understanding the derivatives market. With this in mind, SEBI has mandated brokers and exchanges to issue additional risk disclosures to tackle this. The topic of recession dominates market commentary these days. In quarter two, the US economy shrank for the second state quarter. Shrugging off rampant inflation and rising interest rates, the US GDP increased at a 3.2% annualized rate last quarter. In quarter 4, the US economy grew at a slower rate than Q3 but at a solid pace of 2.9 in quarter 4. Economists polled by Reuters forecasted GDP would rise at a 2.6% rate. Consumer spending, which accounts for 68% of the US GDP, maintained a solid pace of growth at 2.9%, though lower than the quarter 3 GDP. Government spending too maintained an uptick. However, there are signs of strain, especially in the sectors most sensitive to higher borrowing costs, such as residential investment that has slowed significantly. The quarter four results show us that the US economy is growing steadily at a slower rate than last year, but not at the brink of a recession. The question now is whether the United States resilience can continue in 2023. With the monetary tightening lag effect, 2023 is expected to be a more difficult one. So what does all of these news mean for you? The SEBI study shows us the risks involved in dealing in the derivatives market. Given the well-known high volatility of the futures and options segment, it's important to have a proper risk management strategy and not to invest more than you can afford to lose. This will have an indirect neutral impact on you. The US economy is at risk from both monetary policy tightening and global economic challenges. However, several sectors of the US economy have continued to grow and the labor market is still robust. This will have an indirect neutral impact on you. While I say this, this is me, Rahil Hassan, signing off. Have a great day and take care. Did you like watching this video? Then download our app, Informed Investor, to watch more such informative and interesting videos.